Now, I know what you've been thinking. You've been hearing about this new Oathbreaker format. You're like, oh, that sounds like fun. I want to give that a try, but I don't want to play a boring old Liliana or Gideon or something like that. It's too bad there's not like a dog in a spacesuit or something. And I'm not one for strategy or game plans or anything like that. No, I'm going to just wing it. We're just going to meme deck this whole thing. Well, boy, do I have good news for you. I have exactly what you're looking for. Comet Stellar Pup. This good boy is from one of the unsets, but he is legal. Comet costs four mana and starts at five loyalty. Zero, roll a six-sided die. One or two, plus two loyalty, then create two one-one green squirrel creature tokens. They gain haste until end of turn. Okay. Three, minus one loyalty, then return a card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to your hand. Four or five, Comet Stellar Pup deals damage equal to the number of loyalty counters on him to a creature or planeswalker, then minus two loyalty. 6, plus 1 loyalty, and you may activate Comet Stellar Pup's loyalty ability two more times this turn. If you know what hasty squirrels have to do with dogs and spacesuits, please let me know in the comments. And while you're thinking about that, I'm going to go over some of the signature spell options that might fit this guy. Normally, my Oathbreaker videos are about finding synergies between Planeswalkers and signature spells, but the pickings are pretty slim on this one. I did manage to find one synergy card, and then we're going to go over some dumb options. I don't mean that as an install. If you want to build a dumb deck, cool. If you want to build a random deck, I think that's awesome. It it's just... Oh, what do I even say about this? Okay, synergy first. Repeated Reverberation is a four mana instant. When you next cast an instant spell, cast a sorcery spell, or activate a loyalty ability this turn, copy that spell or ability twice. You may choose new targets for the copy. This works really uniquely with Comet compared to other Planeswalkers. Normally, the adding or removing of loyalty counters is part of the cost and not part of the effect. But with Comet, the cost is zero, and the adding or subtracting of loyalty abilities is part of the effect. So if you cast Repeated Reverberation and roll a 1 or 2, instead of plus 2 loyalty, you're adding plus 6 and creating 6 of those little squirrels. If you roll a 3 or a 4, there's a decent chance you're going to kill Comet. I think the dream, though, is rolling a 6, plus 1, and you may activate Comet Stellar Pup's loyalty abilities two more times this turn, but you get to triple it, so you get to activate them six more times this turn. Is that good? I don't know. It's silly. The whole card is silly. The video is silly. Heck, you are silly for watching this much of the video. Why are you even here? I got lots of other videos for you to watch. But no, wait, wait, wait. Stick around. Stick around. I've got some other silly stuff to show you. How about Dog Tribal? Is that silly enough for you? Four mana to make four 1-1 one, one white dogs. The dog tokens could chase the squirrel tokens up trees. That would be fun. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these dog tokens have spacesuits, but, you know, you work with what you got. Circuits Act and Clowning Around makes tokens by rolling dice. I already know you like that. If rolling dice just isn't enough random for you, you could go with Gamble. For one mana, search your library for a card and put it into your hand. Then discard a card at random. What's that? You want a card that's actually good as a signature spell? How about Boros Charm? For two mana, choose one. Deals four damage to target player or planeswalker. Permanence you control gain indestructible till end of turn. Target creature gains double strike until end of turn. My viewer retention is going to be terrible on this video, I think. So if you're still here, please hit the like button. Please. Comment and I are begging ya. If you're actually going to build this, let me know in the comments what signature spell you're using. You have my respect. Good day, sir.